Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a huge Primark haul, including a load of makeup, which I'm going to be trying out. So let's get cracking. Hiya, so I popped over to Primark on my uh, tipsy shopping trip with one of my daughters and her partner um, and we had a lovely time, honestly we did, uh, but we went to Primark first out of all the places we went, we went all over and we'd had a couple of drinks, right, and Primark was packed and when I say packed I mean absolutely packed. Um, so we had a look round. I intentionally went in to look for makeup and cosmetics and things like that because, and also to look at sale, because a lady had said to me in the uh, in my comments, because I'd run out of eyebrow pencil, she said Primark sell them for a quid. So I thought, you know what? I have never looked at Primark makeup ever, right? And I go to Primark an awful lot. It's just one of those sections I never seem to look in. So I thought, I'm going to have a look round. When I saw prices, I thought, all right, I'm definitely going to get some stuff from here. Give it a try. It'll be my first time ever. So I thought, I'll put the makeup on with you and tell you what I think of them, really. Because they're such good value um, that I just couldn't resist. <laughs> I literally could not resist. And also, um, slightly um, inebriated after my two drinks, right? To the point where we were so hot, we had to take our coats off while we were queuing up because, you know, I'd had a couple of ciders and we were standing there in this queue amongst all these people, right? And it were a massive queue as well. Me and my daughter were both absolutely melting. Our faces were slightly pink from the two ciders. She didn't have two ciders. She had two de Serranos, you know what I mean? Um, but we um, we queued up. A boyfriend had to go way outside um, but anyway, we had a really nice time and we managed to make it to the front of the queue and bought all these lovely stuff. So I bought a couple of sale things as well, which I'm going to show you. So let me see. Right. Okay. So last time I went and looked around the sale at uh, Primark, I bought a pair of these, right? They're just like um, napkin rings, but they're really, really pretty. They've got this um, sort of pine thing and a pine cone on it and a gold hoop. I paid a pound for the last two, but I could only get one set of two, and I really wanted four. When I went in this time, they were reduced to 50p from £2.50, so I got myself another pair. So I've now got the four of them, which I'm really pleased about, because I really didn't know what I was gonna do with just two of them, you know what I mean? But, God love me daughter and her boyfriend. They've got a place now, so they're going to be moving in any time soon. So, when I seen these, I knew our Rose would absolutely love them. Let me find them. And she did. So, I bought her a set of six. Just not my camera stand. They're not um, Christmassy, but they were in Christmas sale. So, they're just these pair of wooden napkin rings. These were reduced from £2.50 to a pound. So, I bought her three sets. I thought they were lovely. They'll go with the table and everything. So really, really nice. If you can get those, they are lovely. Really nice. I think if I'd seen these before I'd got my uh, pine cone ones, I probably would have gone for these. But I'm really pleased I got them for Rose anyway. So that was just three quid for the six, which I thought were a fantastic deal. Popping everything on the floor because I've got to make her a bag up of all this stuff that I bought for her. Right, okay. What else did I get? Oh, I bought this. Now, this isn't my colour scheme for next year, but I just could not resist it. it were, it's a little Mickey Mouse one, and it were reduced to a pound. I thought I'll put that in with my reds and things, um, my red Christmas decorations, and it'll be really cute. Really like that one. Because I bought some that match my colour scheme that are Disney. They're actually on the floor here. Hang on, just in case you didn't see them. So these are some of them. These were £2. Now, they still had these in, but only in the green colour. So I didn't get any more of these. I would have done if they'd have had some more in these colours. But um, you get six in the pack, but that's three of them. I bought those last time and they were only a couple of quid. And they were down to a pound when I went in this time. But like I say, they only had the greens and I'm not doing greens next year. So didn't bother getting any more of those. I'm very happy with my little Mickey, you know, for a quid. 
just dropped them on the floor with the rest of them. What else did I get? Oh, I got Rose this. Now it's a, um, a Harry Potter brush. She needs a new brush. Right, and it were reduced, I think, to a couple of quid. This, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but it's, um, so this is obviously Ravenclaw, but my daughter's name's Rose. So we got her that one. Thought it were really cute. So I bought her that. I'm going to give her that with all the other stuff. I, she said it were fine for me to haul them. I did buy them for her, but, you know, she said it were all right for me to show you before I gave her them. Because she's moving and she's coming here to pick up some bits, it don't matter that, um, you know, that I've got these. She'll be able to collect them quite soon. So very happy with that. They had all the house teams from Harry Potter. Um, but we like this. I think she'd have preferred a different colour background. But obviously that is the Ravenclaw, isn't it? Colour scheme. So yeah, got her that just because it's an R. And she's called Rose. So yeah, that's that one. Just looking in my bag. Oh, also I got myself some of these uh, combs. Now I use these all the time. And I did get a really nice one in me um straightening tool that somebody had gifted me vkk i think it was that had gifted me that but sometimes i can't find it <laughs> so i got myself some more these were a quid these were in sale these were a quid for two brushes what i liked were this one that's got that metal uh stick on it for parting your hair because i always part my hair on you know when i'm straightening my hair so I thought I'd get a couple of these. That one's just a plain one. This one's got the metal stick on it. So let's see if it goes through. It does. That's actually all right. Like that. Like that some bits are shorter than others as well. I don't know what that's supposed to do for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe that's like a technical thing. But I just liked it because it would have come. And I could part my hair with it. You know. Be good for straightening my hair. So like both of those. They're extra, you know, sort of spare ones. I thought a quid were amazing for two. You know, they are quite sturdy and all. They're not really like flimsy ones. Because I've had packs of them from like Poundland and stuff. But honestly, all the like bristly bits here, all bend and things after a few uses. Particularly when your hair's quite warm from straightening. So, But these feel really sturdy. So I'm well happy with those. Really nice. What else did I get? Oh, I got myself some of these. Now, I used to buy these back in the day, but I've seen a load of other people putting things on um, YouTube saying these don't get your makeup off so well. So now I use my spin care system that I also got gifted to me and uh, face, facial cleansing wash, you know what I mean? And, and release all my makeup and then get it off with like a cotton reusable cloth. But there are times when I'm just putting my makeup on and I've like made one eyebrow up here and one like down here that I need to get one of them off. So I thought I'll try these. Like I say, I used to buy them back in the day and I think they're great. I got these H2O um, micellar water ones, which are my favourite ones. And the two packs for a pound. How many did you get in each one? Can't remember now. 25 in each one. So you get, actually get 50 for a quid. Do you know what I mean? That's great. So they'll come in handy. Um, for like I say, when I'm like trying to get a bit of makeup off, I think I've left a bit of my brow on. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I have, right. So I'll get that off before I try and put any more makeup on. Yeah, I have definitely left a bit of my brow on. I knew because my eyebrows normally disappear when I haven't got anything on them. So let's get this bit of brow off before I start with my other stuff. Right, that's a lot better. Right here, so just go under my eye, make sure I've actually left anything on here before I put my moisturiser on. Otherwise, I'll be I'll be putting the makeup back into my skin with a moisturiser. Or I, like I say, the good the coming hands. Yeah, God, I've I've left quite a few bits around my eyes actually. You know how sometimes it gets stuck around your eyes. Right, I've left quite a bit. That'll have to do. Okay, they're really nice anyway. If you do use those facial cleansing wipes. Would highly recommend because two packs for a quid and they are nice ones. Okay, next up I bought this. Right, bought it specifically for putting my makeup on. So it's a beauty headband. It were only a quid. None of these were in sale. This is the full price. So let's get it out. It'll be clipped in. Right, okay. So I can put that on today. What's it say? Used to hold back your hair 
when um, washing or applying beauty products to your face. So normally when I'm like washing my face, I'm dropping everything all over the floor. Normally when I'm washing my face, I don't even care if it gets in my hair because I rinse it off anyway. And the next day I've always got to sort my hair out. So let's give this a go, see whether this works. I've never tried one of these before. Put that bit at back so I'm not left with a tag. Oh my goodness, it's shedding bits of fluff. Pull it down. Get me hair over it. Wow, it's tight. Either that or I've got a massive head, which is entirely possible. Oh my days, I look like Krusty the Clown. <laughs> or it, right. I don't know if this is actually going to ride up now because it's really, really tight. But anyway, it'll keep me hair back. Oh, goodness me, look at the state of this. Now, it'll keep me hair back while I'm sorting out my makeup because I wanted to try on these makeup things. So I could tell you what I thought of them because they were such good bargains. Mm, yeah, it is actually riding up. Goodness me, my head must be massive. Oh, right, so I'm going to put some moisturiser on. Forgot to get some moisturiser at Primark. So I'm just going to use this probiotic one that I got um, in one of my beauty subscription boxes. Um, Doctor's Formula, I think it's quite pricey. I didn't pay a full price for it. Like I say, I got it in one of my beauty subscription boxes. But let's put a bit of this on anyway. Watch, it'll be a night cream. <laughs> Which is what I'm prone to do. I don't tend to read them very closely, you know what I mean? So just put, them, put on whatever. As long as it's going on my skin. And I'm getting a bit of moisture back in my skin. I've washed my hands before I came on. So got clean hands. And washed my face. Although, like I say, I left my brows on. Gonna have to let this ride up. Otherwise, I'm gonna spend the old time like trying to pull it down. I'm putting up on. My skin's severely lacking moisture. Probably from the couple of drinks. We had such a laugh, you know, <laughs> walking around, just laughing at everything. You know what it's like when you've had a couple of drinks, you know, everything seems really funny, doesn't it? Um, yeah, and my daughter absolutely adore my children. You know, like most people do with children, absolutely adore them. So getting to spend any time at all with them is wonderful. You know, I really love it. Absolutely love it. I had the best day. My other, God bless my other daughter. She, she was going to come and meet us, but she's worked four nights on the trot because she's a nurse. So she'd worked four nights. She works in accident and emergency. She'd worked four nights on the trot and she was shattered. She phoned me up and said, oh, mum, I've slept in. And she was really worried that I'd gonna have been left on my own to walk around all the shops and everything. So when I told her her sister were with me, she were just like, oh, that's all right then, that's okay. You know, right, so I've put some moisturiser on, which is not from Primark. Now I've got this little mirror here, right, which is off the top of um, a palette, but I dropped it on the floor and it broke off. So I have to just carefully put it on top when I put it in my drawer. And I haven't got another mirror with me, so this is going to have to do. Oh, my days. Sometimes when you see yourself in the mirror, I'm going to tell you a story. This one day, right, I had this mirror, which was um, like normal on one side, but like super magnified on the other side. This is sort of about 10 years ago. And before my eyes started getting really bad. So sometimes I'd, I'd be able to turn it round and see myself... This one day I looked in it, but I had my glasses, my reading glasses on. Oh my days. Frightened myself after death. I nearly fell off at the sofa. I'm like, no, no, I don't want to see. Don't want to see that much. Because I think nature has got a way of protecting you from your failing looks. So around about the same time, your, your um, looks start to go. So does your eyesight. When I look in the mirror, I've got a Doris Day haze. Do you know what I mean? It's like... I actually can't see anything close up, which is for the best, because I don't want to see all wrinkles. But anyway, that's a side note. Let me let me get on with this other stuff, right? Oh, I want to show you this before I put any makeup on. They have perfumes at Primark. I didn't realise at all. So we looked, and a lot of them were cheaper than this. This were three pounds, and it was in a quite small bottle. They had bigger bottles, but they were eau de toilette. And I like to get an eau de parfum if I can. But they had no samples of any of them. So what's this one that I got? Pomegranate and black tea. Okay. 
Right, I suspect this is very like the um, Reed Diffuser that I got the other day when I were in Primark that were in sale for a fiver. They're so nice. They make my room smell lovely. I can smell them now. Although I've got two. One's jasmine and one's pomegranate and something. So anyway, let's have a try of this before all else. Before I try putting any makeup on. £3 this. Bargain. Oh, it's like an handbag size one. I like that size. That's really nice. Quite like the packaging as well. Reminds me of the ones that we used to get on the till at Zara. You know, they were like rollerball ones though. This is like a spritzy one. Let's just put a bit on. Please let me like it. Wait for it to go off a little bit because it smells a bit alcoholy at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to wait a bit. I'll come back to you and tell you what I think because it is still very alcohol-like. But I love the size of it. That'll be one I can sling in my, work, in my bag for work and won't worry about it getting broken or anything, you know. It's just a small one. And it were only three quids. <laughs> so, happy with that. Yeah, still smells of alcohol. I'll come back to it. Okay, so makeup-wise. Oh, this is the other thing I wanted to put on before everything else. I got this lip plumper. I don't tend to use these, but I've got my lips are as fine as old and the colours started to disappear as I've got older. So I thought I'd give this a go, you know. It was three quid. Eh. Right, okay, what's it look like inside? All right, that's it inside. Three quid though. Thought I'd give it a go. So let me get my mirror. Let's see if I can put a bit of this on. See whether it actually works and plumps my lips. So it's like that. It's got one of them dolphins. Still can't remember what they're called. Okay. I'll leave that on while I'm doing my foundation and things. Sheer colour with maximum effect. Can't feel anything yet. But the perfume smells really nice. That's great. I can smell the perfume now. That's actually a really nice perfume. I'm well chuffed. Rose, if you're watching this, I'm really pleased with our selection on that. That were a good one. It smells quite strong as well. It's not super light. It's got quite a heavy fragrance. But, and it's a bit sweet, but it's also got a bit of oriental fragrance about it. I don't know whether that's an actual thing or whether I've just made that up. But yeah, it's really nice. Quite a heavy fragrance, um, but pretty. Like it. Okay, so let's start with this stuff that I've got. I'm sure I've got a concealer in here. Where's that? Here it is. Right, now we had to do guesstimates of my skin tone. And I always go for a lighter concealer. This one, 90p for this. I've just realised I've got my water egg. I'll have to get that in a minute, but anyway... Right, this were 90p, so thought we'll give this a go. Oh, my lips are starting to tingle. Good, that's what I want. So I've managed to get into it. So this is it, got quite a light colour. Thought I'd try a bit of that under, on my bags, you know, under my eyes. And my lips are super tingling now. Actually, it is working. All right, I'm just going to put this on with my finger. And leave it on under my eyes. Now, there's loads of places I could put this on. I could conceal my whole face. <laughs> Get it all covered in it. But I'm just going to put it on under my eyes to see whether the foundation actually sits on top of it. Got a zip there as well. Cover that. And a bit of sort of redness here will cover that as well now i know this you can buy these palettes and i've actually ordered one you know those palettes that have got color correcting on them but um i didn't look for one of those at primark so i don't know whether they sell them i imagine they do because they seem to have the full range of makeup right okay trying to do that without dragging me under eyes any more than i need to right i'm gonna go grab a water egg and we'll try it foundation on Okay, so this is a B and M water egg, which I've put some water on. Um, now I'm sure Primark had, had water eggs, but we'd neglected to get like a shopping bag, so we were like, add all these things in with arms, try to juggle them, and I think it was so warm and it was so packed. 
we just gave up at the end do you know what i mean so i will have a look next time i'm in see if there's anything else i missed and i'll show you those anyway we did a guesstimate of my skin color and ended up with this one um, they had some set, you know, like powder foundations and things, but I didn't go for those because my face is dry enough already. I always say I look like a scone. But anyway, this were £2.50. What colour did I get it in? Vanilla. All right. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? So it's sealed. Let's give this a go. It'll be too light. I bet you any money it's too light at the moment. My lips are not tingling that much now. They are a little bit, but not massively. Okay, so that's the colour I got. That might not be bad, actually. Might not be bad at all. If we'd have been buying one for us, she'd have bought the one that were like, basically, ghost white. Because she has to add whitener to everything. Because I've never met a kid with such lily white skin. Honestly, she's got really pale skin. But um, And she nearly got picked that one up for me. And I'm like, no, check it out, right? I'm not quite so light as you. So anyway, got it on my water egg. Let's give it a go. That's a nice colour. Oh, get in. I'm really pleased with that. I don't currently have a foundation that matches my skin so much. That's not bad. It might be slightly light. But it's actually okay that you'll be seeing this in upcoming um, Get Ready With Me videos. Because this is the best matching one I've had so far. That's actually all right. I really like it. Let's cover up some of this. Cover up some of my um, concealer. Forgot the name of the product then. It feels like it's going on all right as well, you know. That's not bad at all. Oh, wow, I really like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this makeup on, you know. And at the end of the day, I'll pop back on and let you know what it's like. You know, I'll show you. And let you know what I think of it. Because actually, I think this is actually really good. It feels like it's got quite a high coverage. Which is great. You know, cover up a multitude of sins. But all, and also, I really like the colour. Vanilla is obviously my colour. You know, they had any number of colours in there. Honestly, any number of colours. I didn't look at the full range. Could have honestly picked about four different ones. We were just guessing them because there there's obviously no testers or anything anymore, you know, since the illness. And somebody asked me as well in one of my comments, why I say the illness and not the actual name. It's because we get flagged if we say it right, okay, on YouTube. It's not that I'm afraid to say it. I just hope you know what I mean when I do say it. I don't want to get flagged, you know, and have my video like, you know, I have some problem with my video, so I just don't say it. So, I think you find a lot of people don't say it either. Oh, I've got it all over this hairband. But I suppose that's what it's for, you know. At least it's not on my hair. I really like that. I don't know what you think, but I feel like that's given me a really good coverage. Let me feel it on my skin. Yeah, it's quite heavy. I don't know if you could get different ones, you know, different sort of, um, some that were more lightweight. And this one, which says perfect finish foundation, medium to full coverage. I actually feel like it is medium to full coverage. And I actually really, really like the colour. I might look a little bit pale. But I don't mind it at all. I actually really like it. It feels like it's covered up my concealer as well so fantastic i really like that good old primark <laughs> right i'll definitely go back and get see what else they've got in this range you know foundations how many mils do you get 35 mils so it's not a bad size either you know i'll probably end up using that up because that feels like the best um color match that i've had in a long time that's what happens when you've had a couple of drinks and also when you take a daughter with you so that she can match them against your skin. <laughs> no, dear. Goodness me. Right, so I'm going to call that it for my foundation. Feels like it's covered everything that I need it to cover. I don't spread it down onto my neck because I find <laughs> my neck's a different colour. Ends up looking like I've got a mucky neck, you know what I mean, right? So 
yeah feels like it feels more full coverage to medium coverage to me but anyway i'm happy with it let me rub it on the back of my hand feels really nice feels like it's drying it's got a nice finish to it as well okay super happy with that one what else have i got in here okay i got a couple of brow products these okay so i got a brow pencil and I what I like about it, it's got one of these sharpeners on it. They're perfect. So that when it starts to get blunt, you know where a sharpener is. And I also bought this one, which were more expensive. This says three and one brow. So this were three pounds, got hair on it. And this one, I think were about a quid, a pound for that one, which is fantastic. Like that lady told me, thank you for telling me that. Right, so let's try this cheaper one first. See if I can actually get the packaging off it. I'm going to use my little prodder off this brush, this comb. See if I can get into it that way. Now, they had quite a few colours of these as well. Um, but they just had sold out of the dark brown colour, which is the colour that I tend to go for, even though I've got lighter hair. So, I just went for this slightly lighter brown one. Okay, so at one end, it's got the actual pencil. At the other end, it's got a spoolie. Now, i probably leave that spoolie on, uh, the lid on that spoolie because I don't have enough eyebrow to brush. But let's give this pencil a go anyway, see what this works out like. That's not bad. That feels quite hard. I like that. That don't feel like it's, you know, like one of these super soft ones that feels like you've got a really thick line when you're doing it. And the good thing is as well, even if it starts to blunt, there's my sharpener. Be able to sharpen it up. Great. Do you know, I've got eyebrow pencils that I've paid considerably more for, or I haven't paid considerably more, but are worth a lot more that usually come in my subscription boxes, my beauty subscription boxes, that are as nice as that. So I'm very happy with it. I like that a lot. And I'm quite pleased now that I didn't get the darker colour because I don't mind that colour. So I'm going to try and put my other brow on. It'll be a different colour, but I'll try and put my other brow on with this more expensive one, see what this is like. Oh, wow. When it says three in one, it actually means it. There's three different bits. Right, it's just taken me the best part of five minutes to actually get the plastic off, but it looks like there are three sections. So at one end, you've got this like chisel, looks a bit like a triangle um, pencil bit. And then what's this bit in the middle? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like, um, what is it? It's like got a smudgy thing. Like a spongy tool. Don't know what that's for. Perhaps for blending out your brow, which I, I never do. And then on the third end, oh, wow, it's got like this. Right, I don't probably have enough airs to be able to do that, but it is a colour. Can you see that? It is actually a colour that you can colour your eyebrows with. So let's have a little go of it. Okay, I've slightly coloured my eyebrow with a little brush. I'm going to try and use this chisel tool to draw on. I'm sure you're supposed to leave this to dry first, but ain't nobody got time for that. So let's just try this. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this, though. I think I'm probably doing all this wrong, you know. I might have to look online at how people use these. Okay, let me know what you think. I much prefer that, you know, the cheaper one to this. But that's probably because I don't know how to use this properly. I do like the idea, though, that you can dye what little brow you've got. You know, colour it up. Because I used to have my eyebrows dyed on when I had time to do it and the inclination. But I haven't had it done in ages. The lovely Alex used to do it for me. God love her. But recently, I haven't, I haven't been doing that. I think a combination of those, they don't match as badly as I thought they would, you know, the colours. But I think a combination of those, might make you, it might give you really nice brows. 
I'm not going to persevere with it. I might just draw over me, let me eyebrow a little bit with this one. Just give it a bit of a darkener. Because this one feels like it's darker. Oh, they'll have to do. I don't mind them, though. I don't mind either of them. Sorry, sticking my eye to my lip plumper. Right. Which has completely stopped uh, tingling. Not so keen on that one. Yeah, not so bothered about that. I might wipe that off before I put any lip pee on. But anyway, I don't mind either of those. I think my favourite would undoubtedly is the cheaper of the two. Yeah, I much prefer the pound one. So I might go back and get and see whether they've got the darker one of that for when I want to really darken my eyebrows up. But like the both of them a lot. I've, like I say... I have paid a lot more or certainly had um, eyebrow tools and pencils and things that are worth a lot more that aren't giving the effects that this has. And I prefer these to a lot of them. So quite like those. Okay, I realise I've got to buy myself a highlighter as well. But what I did buy, because I was like absolutely um, chuffed to try them, were these little brushes, which were a quid each. These are both, this one's uh, eyes... Um, eyeshadow brush and this one is a um, blending eye brush right so I thought I'd give both of those a go for my usual two colour eye makeup look I just don't know how you do all these like six colours and stuff like that I get myself all confused when I'm doing things like that so um, I'm just happy to have the two colour look right okay that's quite nice quite fluffy Feels really soft like that one. That's the blending one. And then this is the eyebrow one. Only but I mean the eye eyeshadow one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Obsessed with eyebrows now. Oh, it's got two ends on it. Get in. It's actually got two ends. I did not realise that at all when I bought it. So it's got a bigger end and then a smaller end. Great, I'll be able to do my own makeup with those two. Right, so with three ends, so fantastic. So when it came to eyeshadows, I bought myself three different ones. They were all £2.50. So I bought this smoke one. They're all these little ones. They had bigger palettes, but I actually paid um, £2.50 for these. Um, so that's the smoke one. So it's all blues and greys with a bit of sort of beigey gold in. Then I got this bronze one, which it, were also £2.50. That's got all these like browns and sort of a peachy bit yellowy gold. Undoubtedly my favourite, because I like berry colours, were this one, which were called berry, right? And I really, really like it. They also did a nude palette, but it were bigger. And I decided to try some of these little ones. Because I find, because I only like do a two eyeshadow look, um, it's enough to have six in a palette for me. Otherwise, I get all confused. So I thought today, I'm going to try this wild here. And also shout, right, which is that one there. So I'm going to start by putting, I'm going to leave me a blending brush here. Now I'm going to put wild on first. Oh, it feels really creamy. Let me show you, let me swatch some of these other ones actually while I'm on. Do you know they're not bad? Oh, that one's slightly less pigmented. That one, just over the top of that brow. This really purpley one here. Yeah, they're not the most pigmented, but for £2.50, I mean, you know, I'm not going to knock it. So those are the other four colours that I'm not using there, next to my brows. Those four. And the two colours that I am, I'm going to try and put on my eyes now. Okay, so let's start with this wild one. Let's get some more, see if this works out for me. Yeah, you, you do have to build them up, definitely. They're not, you know, the most pigmented things in the world. But they're okay, you know. It's showing up because it's more than my normal eyeshadows, just because it's a darker colour. But actually, you're having to, you know, you do have to put quite a bit on. 
you know, you probably end up hitting pan on these on your favourite ones. So I'm going to put it all the way over my eye and underneath a bit. This is the lighter of the two colours. So actually it's going to be quite a dark eyeshadow look for me, this. I feel like I'm having to really work at it to get some on. I mean, it's a pretty colour. I like the colour of it a lot. But it's definitely not as pigmented as a lot of the things that I've got. That might be a bit dark, you know, <laughs> goodness me. Oh my days. Right, let's try this shout and I'm using the other end here of my eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to put it in my crease on the outside of my upper eyelid. And on the outside, lower eyelid. Wow, they're quite dark colours. Could have picked better colours. They are quite dark. This would be great though. You know, if you've got young people who were trying out makeup for the first time, they haven't made their minds up what sort of colours suit them and stuff. It'd be great to give a, tr you know, to have a try with different colour palettes. So, um, I've made a right dog's dinner of this. I think normally my eyeshadow is more forgiving because I use lighter colours that are more pigmented. That looks a shocking state. So this is where the blending brush is going to have to come into its own here because I'm definitely going to have to blend these out an awful lot. Wow, we could have done with about six blending brushes to try and blend this. Oh my days. Right, okay, I'm finding this quite hard work. I'm not going to lie about it. Um, I like the colours, although they are a bit dark for me. Um, you can get it to build up quite a lot if you sort of work at it. Just get some of this off here and see whether I can blend out any more. But it does feel like a lot more hard work than my normal eyeshadows that I have. So they're not my favourites. But I'll definitely keep persevering with them and see whether I can get them to work for me. Although, it's not my favourite sort of look I've ever done. And I do only ever do a two colour. I'm slightly gutted I forgot to get a highlighter though. Really gutted about that. Got myself a blusher but forgot to get myself a highlighter. Wow, this is taking forever to try and blend me. <laughs> I'll blend them out, whatever we're calling it. Oh my goodness. I like the brushes an awful lot. Would definitely go back and get the brushes. But out of all the things I've tried so far, my, the eyeshadows are not my favourite at all. So, um, it's going to have to do. <laughs> right, okay. So next up, um, my mascara. All right. Right, now they had loads of different mascaras. They had um, waterproof ones and all sorts, but I decided to go for this Dramatic Lash, which were only £2.50. Right, so let's give this a go, see if I can get into it. Okay, done that. Let's have a look at the brush. Okay, it's quite a big brush, but we're going to try it out. I'll, I do like a big and fluffy brush. So we'll try this one out, see how it goes. Do you know, honestly, right back when I first started my channel, I did try makeup from different places, but I never, I don't think I ever put the videos up because I'm not good at makeup. I'm just going to try it. I think I sort of had this idea that they'd be all right, but when I looked back over the footage, honestly, some of them were shocking. And it is coming up to a year since I first started on YouTube, you know. I can't believe it's been a year. Well, I can because it's been a very eventful year. But um, And I, I have no desire to go through it again. And that's the truth. But I am looking forward to the year coming. 
you know, this next year. Got my little job, you know. We, and I love looking after babies. Absolutely love looking after babies. So I'm super happy about that. But, um, yeah, the idea that I were ever going to be putting makeup on, other than to try them out like this and explain that I'm shockingly bad at it, you know. So this is like a layman's or an average view, an average customer's view of Primark makeup. It's not a makeup artist's view, you know. That's okay. I don't mind that at all. It's certainly a lot better than a lot of cheaper um, sort of end mascaras that I've got. Although I think my favourite um, value end mascara that I've ever had were from Wilco. I think Wilco's got some great makeup, you know. I really do. I might, I might do a video of Wilco makeup at some point, show you what it's like. Because actually I really like it, you know. Right, I'm going to leave that first coat to dry. I'll come back to it before I end. Right, I don't think it's bad at all. For £2.50, that is not a bad mascara at all. Yeah, I quite like some of these colours, you know. I wish I'd gone for that purpley one there, you know, rather than this sort of brownie colour. Yeah, wish I'd gone for that purpley one. But anyway, we're sticking with it now. Okay, blusher. So I just bought myself one blusher because I could only find about three colours of it because people were queuing right next to where all the makeup was. So this were a pound and I got it in this colour, which is my kind of colour. You know, it's sort of a, a very pinky colour, but I like that. So it's like that inside. How pigmented is this? That's not bad. Like that an awful lot. I do like that one. Prefer that to the eyeshadows. Okay, got myself a brush. It's not a blush, a brush. <laughs> it's just this. Right, I think it's actually supposed to be um, a highlighter brush. But since I've got a highlighter, I'm going to use it for my blusher. Okay, it is very, very pink. So let's see whether I can get a bit more pink to my skin. Oh my goodness, that is very pigmented. Wow, very, very pigmented. I actually quite like the colour. I do look a bit Aunt Sally at the moment. I'll try and blend it out. If you don't know who Aunt Sally is, she were on um, Wurzel Gummidge back in the day when, when I were a kid. Goodness me, that is very pigmented. Oh dear. Wipe some of that off, Kim. <laughs> Have you seen that side? I look like I've been slapped. That's a bit bad, isn't it? <laughs> right. Okay, this is proving to be very highly pigmented and once it's on this foundation, it's very hard to get off. I haven't used my fingers to try and get some of it off. What else have I got? Kitchen roll. Okay, I'm gonna wipe a bit off with some kitchen roll because that is super pink. So I can try and blend it around a bit more. Yeah, look, there's a lot on there, a lot of color. I should have dusted it all off before I put it on, before I just took the brush and started trying to work it about. But I prefer that side to that side. You know, the second pass were a lot easier. What we're thinking. It is a bit Aunt Sally, isn't it? You know what I mean? But um, I like the colour. I think I just put too much on. Try and wipe a bit off. See where I can get it to work out for me. Oh, wow. I've still got quite a lot on. Never mind. It's going to have to do. Right, because I'm desperate to get onto my favourite bit, which is the lippies. Okay. These were like 90 peach, so I went to town. Okay, so I bought myself the only two um, lip liners that I could find, which actually, I, that one does not match my um, lipsticks that I've bought. But that one sort of semi-matches that lippy. So the lip liners were a pound each. The lipsticks were one pound fifty, not ninety p. What you, you? Oh, that one were ninety p. That one were ninety p. That were ninety p. Why is that one one pound fifty? What's the difference? Oh right, this is a matte one. That's why. So this is matte, and I think these two are just regular um, luster these ones so the luster ones were 90p yeah both those are luster 
I'm going to swatch them on my hand, but I'm going to have to use the matte one because it's the only lip liner I've got. Okay. So I'll probably be on for five minutes trying to undo all these, but let's give it a go. I'm going to use my pointy stick again from my comb. All right, drop that. I had to turn my camera off while I unpacked all those. <laughs> it took me so long. Right, okay. So that's the matte one that I'm going to be trying out today. And I love the packaging. It feels matte. And these are the two that were 90p, which are the luster ones. I do like a matte lipstick, but I wanted to try different colours. And I, I picked up what I could. I didn't even realise there were a difference between them. So this is one of the colours that I got there in the luster one. It's really nice. It's, it really looks pretty. I do like it. Um, and then I got this one which is also a luster one, which is a bit more sort of nudey colour, a bit less um, purpley. And that's it there. I've just dropped the lid. I'll pick that up later. The lip liner that I'm not going to be using is this one, which were a quid. And that's there. That's actually all right. That, that feels really nice, that lip liner. I'm sure I'll have a lipstick that that'll match. I don't know why I bought three lipsticks. I have got more lipsticks than enough, you know, but I wanted to give them a try. So the lip liner that I am going to be using is this one, which is sort of a nude colour, quite like it, and I'm going to use it with the matte lipstick. So this is kind of set on my lips and really I'm plumped my lips at all. So, um, you know, that's okay. What do we think? I'm not somebody that overdraws my lips. Do you know what I mean? Because I look ridiculous. <laughs> it's not that I haven't tried. It's I just don't know how to do it successfully. Right, okay, that's the colour. And I'm going to put my... I'm going to try this matte lipstick with it. Please let it match. Please let it match. Oh, I like this colour an awful lot. Look at that. That's really nice. That's like a nudie colour. Okay, the lip liner is a bit darker, but that's okay. That feels like really nice lipstick, actually, that. You get a decent sized bullet and oh, look at that one. That feels really nice. It feels rich and creamy, but also... um quite thick so i'm just gonna wait and see if that'll dry on meanwhile i'll put another coat of mascara on so all in all i've quite liked the makeup i've got i think the big success is for me uh the foundation <laughs> look at this blobbed it up there oh my goodness this is when you need a face wipe see just get the mascara off and then I'll fill the hole in with what's left on my brushes. Right, um, I think the big successes for me have been uh, the foundation. Really, really like the foundation. This thing stayed on my head quite well as well. I'll definitely get some more of these because obviously you're going to need to put them in wash from time to time. Um, the eyebrow pencils, really like those. This mascara is not bad at all. And I quite like the lippies, you know. Not so keen on the lip plumper. Don't think that did a right lot for me. Um, and the eyeshadows take quite a lot of effort. You know, they do. Even to get this rudimentary look, took quite a lot of work. More work than I can normally be bothered putting into my eyeshadow, if truth be known. So, um, but I will persevere with them and see whether I can get them to work for me. They won't go to waste, put it that way. The blush is quite highly pigmented, but if you got one, now I know it's super pigmented because I was expecting it to be really light, kind of like the eyeshadows were, you know, not quite so pigmented. Um, if I'd realised it was quite so pigmented, I'd have dusted a lot off before I whacked it on my face, so I wouldn't have looked quite so red. And I really wish I'd got a highlighter as well. I really, really wish I'd got that. But all in all, I don't think they're bad for budget makeup. I'll tell you what, when I was young and bringing up my kids and stuff and I really couldn't afford to spend any extra money apart from on food, nappies, 
and things like that. I would have really appreciated this makeup. It's certainly a lot better than makeup used to be. You know, cheaper ends makeup used to be. I don't mind any of it at all. Really, I think the highlight has definitely been the, uh, the foundation, which I like an awful lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all this on for the remainder of today. I'll take the headband off. In fact, I may do that now. Oh my goodness, it's made me hair stick up really badly. Um, but what I'm going to do is keep this makeup on for the rest of today and I'll bob back on before the end of the day. I'll check over it all. Oh, I'm filling that hole that's now in my eyeshadow and tell you how I feel about this makeup and how it, well it lasted and things like that. But on first try, don't mind it at all. Don't mind it at all. Yeah, I think it's really, really decent for the price you're paying for it. Although my hair could do with sorting out now. <laughs> Look at this bit. I'll insert the end of the day here. Higher. So it's the end of the day. I don't think this makeup stood up that badly, really. I'm trying to see if I've got any creases or anything. Um, I'm out of breath. I was just about to jump on and film it, then the Amazon man came, so I've had to peg it down the stairs and back up. Right. Um, my lipstick has obviously um, faded because... I've had my dinner and my tea. There ain't a makeup I've got, a lipstick I've got that doesn't do that after you've had two meals and umpteen pots of coffee. Right. So, um, I don't think that's too bad. I can still see bits of my lip liner on and things. My foundation feels nice. It does feel, as the day's gone on, I've realised it feels a lot heavier weight than most of my other foundations. But it ain't oxidised. It don't feel bad. Uh, my blush is still on. My eyeshadow is still on and I don't think it's done that thing where it goes into lines or has it? I don't know. And my mascara has stayed on lovely. My eyebrows have as well. So all in all, I don't mind it at all, you know. The perfume smells gorgeous. Absolutely love the perfume. So the next time I'm in uh, Primark, I'm going to have a look at some of the other ranges of stuff that they do. Hopefully on a day when it's not quite so busy. But I'm about to get my pyjamas on. <laughs> Go get a bath and get my pyjamas on. So I thought I'd jump on and just show you how it stood up. This is after a full day of wear. I don't think it's done too bad. Good old Primark. This is the earlier, Kim. And you'll be able to see what I think of it. But anyway, that's it for, for today. If you like this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!